Cruise Man here, and today I want to show you some ideas on how to use Basecamp, which is a software from Garmin that you can use to lay out your routes uh, for your GPS, uh, far superior than the Honda Trip Planner website. And if you're exporting routes to your 2018 Honda Goldwing GPS, you need to use another piece of software called GPS Babel, which I just recently found out about. If you try to export a GPX file, which is the file format that uh, GPS units use, uh, if you try to export that directly from Basecamp to your 2018 Goldwing, it may not even recognize it, or it certainly may not import it properly. So I also want to show you how I think I've discovered what may be one of the problems with the 2018 Goldwing. Uh, in another video I showed you how I imported a route from the Honda Trip Planner and the destination address changed once the uh, route was imported into uh, the GPS on the motorcycle. Well I think I've discovered why that might be the case. But first, now I'm in Basecamp on a Macintosh. It's very similar on a PC, so it shouldn't be any different. I have a route, which I call DFW to Midland. I intentionally set this one up with only eight total waypoints so that this 2018 GPS would be able to handle it. Uh, I have several other routes for, that have more waypoints, but I'm not going to use those. But this route is the one I'm going to export out of Basecamp. And to do that, I select the route in my list. Now you can see I have other routes here, but I'm going to take this one, go up to the file menu, and select export selected user data. Now when I do that, it's going to pull up a, you know, a dialog to let me give it a name. And I'm just going to leave it DFW to Midland. And I actually have a folder here from Basecamp, and that's where I put all my files that I've exported out of this Basecamp program. So I'm going to export that out. Now, you need to download another program from the internet called GPS Babel. It's a free software. It's kind of like Shareware. They take donations, but basically it, it is a free software. And I'm going to open this program, and what it's going to do, it's basically going to open that GPX file that I just exported out of Basecamp, and it's going to clean it up and do whatever it needs to do to put it into a format that the 2018 Goldwing can understand. Now, in GPS Babel, let me close my other programs back here in the background. In GPS Babel, you have a format menu. You want to make sure you have GPX XML selected. A GPX file is basically an XML file, which is kind of like a data file. Here you can select the file that you want to open and process, and I'm going to go over here to my Wing GPS and select from Basecamp, and here is the DFW to Midland file that I just exported out of Basecamp. I want to open that. Now, you also have some options here, but I'm going to leave these unchecked. I'm not going to use any of these right now. In fact, everything else on this screen I'm going to leave unchecked. File name on output, as you can see here, output. This is the file where I want to export to. So I want to select this, and I'm going to go to From GPS Babel. And I'll just use the same name, DFW to Midland. I'm just putting it into a different folder on the desktop. So here you can see there's the file that I'm inputting from. Here's the file I'm outputting to. And then you simply hit OK. And when you do that, it processes it. And you can see down here it says translation successful. And that means it's complete. So there should now be a file over here in this from GPS Babel, and there it is. This file can now be imported into the 2018 Honda Goldwing, and it should work. Okay, now, you'll notice I have another folder here from Honda Trip Planner, 
and I'm going to go into the Honda Trip Planner website and I've got the exact same route that I created in this website. And you can see the last destination is 3613 Apollo Court, Midland, Texas. And you've seen me in another video export this out and import it into the 2018 Goldwing. And when I did it, it changed that destination address to 4474, I think, uh, Gateway Drive, a completely different street. Well, I'm going to show you why I think that's happening. Let's go to Export to GPS. And we'll save this file. And we're going to save it in the From Honda Trip Planner website. And I'm going to rename that DFW to Midland. And we'll save it. Okay, now let's close this window. And let's go take a look at our GPX files, just for grins. This came from the Honda Trip Planner website. This came from GPS Babel. Same name, files the same name, they look identical, they're both GPX files. But when we open these in a text editor, you're going to see there's quite a bit of difference. If we go to the Honda Trip Planner website, I'm just going to open this in text edit, because basically it is just a text file. And this is the whole extent of that GPX file. You can see there's not that much information. Now down here at the bottom, you'll see this, this is basically a record for John's house, which is the destination. It doesn't even give the address name. It just gives a longitude and latitude. Okay, now let's go open the GPX file from GPS Babel, which originated in Basecamp. You can see there's a lot more information in this GPX file than there is in the one that we exported from the Honda Trip Planner. And if we go down to the bottom, we'll find the record for John's house, which is my brother. And basically the record starts right here. And you can see here's the longitude or latitude and longitude. It shows the address, Midland, Texas, 13, 3613 Apollo Court. But if you look at the difference in the longitude and the latitude, there's two additional digits at the end of this latitude than there are down here on the Honda Trip Planner. It's basically rounding up that number by two digits. It just goes to 547, whereas this one goes to 5693. And that, in my opinion, when it's imported into the GPS, it's not able to calculate the granularity of the address down to the actual address that you entered in. So not only is the, is the GPS on the 2018 Goldwing inferior and, and not up to standard, but the Honda Trip Planner website is also inferior and, and just simply cannot give an accurate longitude and latitude because it's rounding those numbers. So um, that will explain part of why your destination addresses aren't coming up correctly when you import from the Honda Trip Planner. So my advice is use Basecamp to lay out your route. You can download that software from Garmin and then run it through GPS Babel and then import it into your 2018. At least you'll have the correct addresses.